Welcome to In the Kitchen with Dinah. Today, we're making chocolate cookies. Someone's in the kitchen with Dinah. Someone's in the kitchen, I know. Someone's in the kitchen with Dinah. Gonna taste good, I know. Welcome to my kitchen. I'm Dinah, and if you're new, I just say wanna welcome you. And for a little background, uh, for many years, I was a personal chef and caterer and I'm just showing you and sharing with you some of my recipes that I would make for my clients and what I use for my business. So these are chocolate cookies. It's kind of like a chocolate sugar cookie. And one of the favorite things that we do with them is to make them into a homemade ice cream sandwich. They're very buttery, delicious, chocolatey, chewy, brownie-esque, would you say? Yeah, I would. They're a little crunchy bit. Little crunchy on the inside, chewy on the inside, drop cookie. They're super easy. I'm going to share them with you today, so stay tuned. So, of course, with any good cookie recipe, we're starting out with butter. This one is one and a quarter cup, so that's two and a half sticks, y'all. That's a good amount, but I tell you, when you taste the butteriness with the chocolate, they are quite delicious. So these are, this just softened a little. And to that, we're gonna get two cups of sugar. All right, we're gonna cream the butter and sugar together. If you have a stand mixer, you can certainly use a stand mixer. I just always grab my hand mixer. Okay, we're gonna add two eggs. If I can get it open. Get that incorporated. All right, and I should have added the vanilla with the egg. So we're gonna give it my glug of vanilla, which is about a teaspoon. Get that mixed in here quick. I'm gonna scrape down my bowl and then we're gonna add all the dry ingredients. These come together pretty quickly. All right. So now we have a cocoa, and I'm just using baking cocoa from the bulk section at the grocery store. We want three quarters of a cup. I'm gonna call that good. And we have a teaspoon, a half a teaspoon of salt. And looks like just a teaspoon of soda. And then I need to grab two cups of flour. All right, and turn on your mixer really gently with this one or you'll have the cocoa everywhere. Is there any other moisture in this? Mm -mm. It comes together kind of like a gingerbread looks like. It's got a real thick consistency. Yeah, it is thick. It's almost like, well, actually it might look thick, but it really is very similar to like chocolate chip cookie dough once you get it all mixed in. Cause it's really, well, now I got streaks in, but make sure I got all the stuff off the bottom. Give it a whiz now since I put my spatula in there. It is thicker dough. I mean, I can feel it in my arm <laughs> trying to move it. It is so good. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is get our cookie scoop and our cookie sheets out and get them scooped on there. 
So now we've got our cookie dough all mixed up. I've got my cookie sheets here. I have lined them with parchment. If you don't have parchment, make sure you spray them. It's just easier for me to use the parchment. Um, and I just use my Pampered Chef cookie scoop and um, one ounce cookie scoop, right? I get about 12 cookies on these. This is one that you wanna be careful not to over bake. So they're chewy still. So now we've got our cookies scooped onto the sheets. We're gonna get them in the oven. And like I said, the ovens are preheated to 350 degrees. These are, it's important we don't over bake these. So I'm gonna start at probably nine minutes and we're gonna check them. We usually cook cookies for a little bit longer than that, but I surely don't wanna over bake these. So we're gonna start nine minutes at 350 degrees. All right, so that was our nine minutes. We're gonna check them. They look delicious. They smell amazing. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna flip my cookie sheets. I'm gonna put them in for one more minute, and that is it. Oh, okay. Okay, there was one more minute. These are looking pretty good. Oh, they're really jiggly. One more minute. I am so, I don't want to over bake them. Let them bake on the sheet and take them out? Yeah. Okay, that'll work. They look so gooey though, like. Oh, see, they just went. That's what I wanted to see. They will flatten as soon as they cool. So I'm gonna leave the cookies on the cookie sheet. You can already see they've flattened a little and that's exactly what I want, but the middle is still gooey, which is exactly what you want. These are um, a little bit more high maintenance, watching them bake to make sure you don't over bake them or under bake them, they have to be just so, but you'll get the hang of it the more you make them. So we're gonna let these cool and then we'll be back in a few minutes. So they've sat here on the cookie sheets probably for one or two minutes, and you can tell the edges have set. They're um, no longer so jiggly like they were when they come out. So gently, I'll just take them off the parchment. Now, these cookies are still hot. I can, you, can, you can see, I mean, they're still really soft. But they, oh man, if you could smell these cookies, they smell like brownies, chocolate cake. I mean, it's just a chocolate, good chocolate cookie. As soon as your cookies have totally cooled, you just pack them in a, an airtight container, your cookie jar. I like to put mine in a Ziploc bag and store them in the freezer. They stay a lot fresher longer. You can also um, make them into ice cream sandwich. So just take one of the cookies, put a little ice cream on it, put a, the lid on it, and then I wrap them individually in saran wrap and tuck them in um, Ziploc bags. It's super fun since summer's coming and we really enjoyed it. It is a hefty amount of calories to eat, but they are so good, so fun. The kids really enjoy those. So I just wanna say thanks for joining me today in my kitchen. I hope you try these chocolate cookies. They are divine and everybody's gonna love them. Don't forget to Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn the bell on for notifications. You've got more delicious recipes coming your way in the future. You guys have a terrific day. Think we're ready? Um, Everything's on, right? I think so. I okay. should be good, and your oven should be gonna. It's gonna. Did be you do both soon. of them? Both? No, I didn't. Should I? Uh, I didn't know that. I would have done that. They just get done faster. Yeah.
That's why I got two ovens for in the first place. That's right. Yum. So these chocolate cookies I'm gonna make you. I'm gonna show you how to Start make Start over. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Good, I know.